Hey everybody, what's happening? Um, just thought I'd give you a little update on what's been going on in my world other than just working, working. Um, did a little bit of work on, well, I was just taking an old project and playing with menus. Um, that's kind of what I've been working on. So, you know, stuff like that. So that's one thing I've been working on, just playing with that a little bit. Um, let's see, what else? Oh yeah, worked on my website a tiny bit, not a whole lot. Uh, trying to get a source code exchange forum going, I thought that would be kind of fun. Um, Active link, there's nothing in it yet. Uh, this is a space where I hope to uh, get a little more interactive with my viewers, uh, allowing you guys to share some of your work. I think that'd be pretty cool. I have to change the label there. Of course, uh, I'll start going down all these rabbit trails like, oh, I need to make graphics, dude. So, um, so then I'm like, oh, graphics. Well, let's learn how to do some cool text stuff. Oh yeah, so let's play around in GIMP. I took some tutorials on that and learning to do some fun effects with text and GIMP. Yay! So that's just another uh, time sink for me. It's kind of addictive and fun. Um, what else? Oh boy, let's see. Okay, there's my menus project. Um, I don't know if I'm going to do tutorial on this anytime real soon. I might actually. I know that menus are incredibly important. I probably will do a, a tutorial on this, but uh, in the meantime, I hope to, you know, when I'm kind of satisfied with where this is going, again, put it on my website in the code lab. That would be kind of cool to share that. So, oh, more stuff. Let's see. What else have I been working on? See, I get too busy on too many things at once, and I never get anything done. I have, like, the world's worst attention span. Uh, tiny edit. I'm up to version 2.4. Oh boy. Let's have a look see at this. If I open that up, bring it down here. So let's see, what have I got done here? I've got two different classes I've been working on. I think the workspace manager is my new class. Um, before I think I just had the workspace handler which um, I've been modifying and upgrading what I have learned and I'm quite excited about is how to actually import um, textures into my game on the fly uh, this could be really nice for uh, creating pointers between images actually another thing I've learned is how to store texture 2D's or PNG files to directly to my map files and that's pretty awesome so instead of just loading the you know preloading all these textures um, I can load them on the fly and then I'm dumping them into an image assets list um, you know, as it's all running, it's pretty sweet how it, you know, it's kind of, the hard part is that I have to, you know, make it work in the uh, game side as well. So that means I have to double my work on all that. But uh, it is pretty sweet. Um, you know, I don't have a huge amount of functionality on here yet, unfortunately. But, um, you know, I can, let's see, which one? I'm guessing latest workspace might be my latest workspace. Hope so. <laughs> okay, so we, uh, that did successfully load. It looks like I had three image assets actually stored inside of that file, which is pretty awesome. Um, so I can save my tile sets and textures, uh, character textures, doesn't matter, directly into my map file. And then I can load them when I load my map. And you know, before I had to uh, select a specific uh, shared sprite source to draw from in my um, my sprite batch. 
and that's been you know it's nice it works good but it's really limited you know what if I have uh, one terrain with multiple images uh, that it needs to reference so I should be able to actually save an alias and reference the um, the image that I loaded with the map from the map uh, at the same time so lots of awesome potential there it's kind of you know it's not 100 percent complete so it's kind of hard to actually show you you know um, how that works adding NPCs uh, this is another thing that uh, is partially done um, I was using this previously before uh, you know when I had to hand load all my textures and now I'm doing this global image asset importer so I can just like grab a picture you know tunes whatever I want I can import them and if I select it I get this new dialog and it lets me give it an asset ID and I can select whether it is an NPC or a tile set so what I hope to do is take that after importing uh, maybe have a, a page flipper for my assets for my tile sets that I'm working with and uh, then I can kind of toggle between them maybe give those you know actually show the name of the tile set so oh I want to add some cave tiles to my map you know flip to the cave tile set and add some goodies there and you know all sorts of fun stuff that you could do and see I told you I have a bad attention span it's like oh cool I want to draw stuff um, adding NPCs to your map this actually I have this working partially um, I can actually add NPCs to my world and load them into my uh, map but on this side it's not completely done yet I had it working and then I <laughs> completely reworked it but I can select um, of my image assets that I have loaded here I've loaded a couple of um, different so actually you know why not do this I'm gonna say import image asset I want to bring in my princess because I don't have her in here yet so the alias is what I'm gonna have to use in my game to reference this uh, file but it can be whatever I want and the asset type is an NPC so I just select import and you saw this go up and uh, I can s now save that image asset directly into my workspace file It. So now that should be working. Um, now, if I want to add an NPC to my map, I can come down here and there she is. Now I haven't complete. Whoa, love those typing skills. And I forgot to, you know, since I reworked this, I forgot to reactivate my placement button, so I can't actually come over here and drop her on the map like I was able to before. Even though I did have that working, and I will have it working again soon. So, um, pretty sweet stuff. So that is a work in progress, a huge job, and I keep finding things that, you know, uh, I'll, I'll get it working and then I'm like man I can do this so much more efficiently in a different way and then I end up having to rework the entire thing so um, of course like I said before every change that I make in here I end up having to mirror in my actual environment um, so you know just a lot of work I was using that NPC dialog from my last tutorial as my test space. I'm not sure how far I got on that. Yeah, I got it so I could actually add my NPCs from my map editor into my world. I think that still works. And they're like, oh yeah, it's beautiful. She's like, this place is paradise. I love it. So anyways, that's what I've been working on. All these different things. And you wonder why I uh, don't get anything done <laughs> for a very long time. Uh, not sure what I want to focus on now.
depends on how many ideas I have along the way. Oh, I gotta test this. Uh, I want to make better menus and things. So yeah, anyway, hope you guys are doing awesome on your projects. I will talk to you later. Bye bye.